I pretty much this is what this is what I, I said. I go. I'm gonna step away from boxing. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone. Who knows if I even come back to boxing? I might not even come back. So I'm not gonna hang on to anything. I'm just not like whoever, because I know how hard it was to get to that position to fight for a world championship and to not give somebody else the opportunity to fight for that title. It's it's tough. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, you know what? Just vacate the title. Let them fight for it. And if I come back, I come back. If not, so be it. God has plans. He's the master planner. So when that happened, she went under the she she did the bone marrow transplant. Thank God everything was successful. You know I was there a hundred percent for her emotionally and um, when she got out all her recovery and stuff. I was there taking care of business with the kids, her family, everybody was you know a lot of a lot of family stepped up to help out also too. And when that. At, at a certain period of time, she comes to me and tells me, "Hey, when are you gonna start fighting again?" <laughs> when she told me that, <laughs> oh, oh, hey, my dogs went up like a hey, pit bull, just hey. like what? <laughs> you got the shirt on, win, Rocky, we're yeah. in. You know, yeah. that was your moment. I mean, my my my. Okay, so then I call my manager. I'm like, "Hey, I'm ready to start getting back in the gym, start training. Let's let's go. You know, however however we're gonna get back to the world championship, let's do it." Wow. And um, so I get a call from my manager and he goes, hey, so the main guy from from Showtime or HBO Sports wants to talk to you. So I go, OK, see what he's going to tell me, because was that Seth back then? No, it was uh, Mark Taffy. Ah, yes. He got after Seth. They yeah. ran, so Mark Taffy is the, the main guy. So Mark tells me, he goes, hey, look, Robert, you know. You had that big fight with Michael Casitas that, you know, you pulled out of. And I was just thinking like, oh, man, I might have just blew my whole everything, you know, my whole career on this, you know, with Showtime where they weren't going to or HBO where they they weren't going to want to work with me. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, you already pulled out of a big mega fight we had set up for you. So then so I'm just listening. I'm like, man, hopefully, you know, tells me something good. And he goes, look, Robert. I read your story on Yahoo and everything you described and everything you said in that story about what your wife went through, what you went through and all the support you had to give her. He's all, it hit me hard. He's all, I sat in my office for like two hours and I was in tears and I go, I was just, whoa, kind of like, kind of like, just like shocked. And he goes, he goes, I've never told anybody this, but. I used to mentor this young kid and he had the same thing as your wife wow. and everything you described, I experienced mm -hmm. to the T, everything wow. you said, I experienced. He's on the young kid wouldn't let nobody come in to see him because he, he didn't want them to see yeah. sores in his mouth or anything like that. Or the way he was looking, yeah. no hair, really sick. He's all, he would just let me in and, I would clean his sores and I would help him out, help him do everything. He's on. When I read that, he's like, it hit me hard, mm -hmm. hit me hard. He's off. So, you know, I really commend you for what you did because I've experienced that myself and I know what you went through. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's tough to walk away from a world championship and all this stuff and your whole career to walk away. He's like, that's what a real man does. Yeah. Yeah. It made me feel great. You know, it's only that. And he goes, Next fight's going to be, um, you're going to fight Michael Casitas again, and uh, you're going to fight for the WBO and the WBA championship. Wow. I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, <laughs> let's go. I mean, I went out there, and that's when I fought yeah. that Casitas yeah. fight, man. Yeah. I went, went out to Vegas, trained, and I, I was ready. And it was, it was that mental focus, like yeah. I told you, yeah. you know, was what, I, what I've gone through. It's kind of like how you were talking about, you know, your experiences, how you've gone through it was like, it was a good thing, but it, made you better. it was a bad made thing, stronger, but yeah. you know, made me stronger, made me better. It kind of sculpted you who you are. Yeah. And that's kind of what, what that did for me yeah. being there. The building you know, blocks. Got my wife. Yeah. It really, really sculpted me for like that, just that mental toughness, that mental focus where when she was going through all this stuff, I had to keep everything together. Yeah. I had to make sure my kids yeah. were okay. Yeah. Make sure they knew their dad was there. Make sure that my wife knows I'm there for her. 
make sure that I'm there taking care of her, making her feel great. Everything that just came along with it, it really, really sculpted me that mental toughness and just that drive. Yeah. That that's one of the things that that like I really took away from that. And that's why I, anytime I train or anytime I get out there and do something, it's like it's like full throttle all the way through. And, and I tell people this all the time. I go, hey, you know what? To be doing what I love to do since I was a little kid, it's an honor and a privilege. When I get in there and fight, I do it because I love it. And this is what this is what I've done my whole life. And I'm able to make money doing it. I'm able to enjoy it. And I'm able to do everything through boxing. It's made my life just a million times better. Yeah. Where with my wife, her fight, it was no choice. Yeah. Yeah. It was like you're fighting for your life. So when people go, the oh, real boxing. deal. So know. when people go, boxing's tough, and you know, how do you do it? I go, man. I watch my wife. <laughs> I, I've seen my wife fight for her life. Yeah. yeah. You know, I seen I seen what she's gone through. I fight because I love to fight, yeah. and I I have the honor to fight. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it to the best ability I can. Yeah. And, and that's what a lot of people don't really understand yeah. is when I get in that ring. People go, why? Like, uh, um, this last press conference I had, um, they're like, why? Four years old. I'm like, I love this. I train hard. I prepare the way I'm supposed to prepare. I get in that ring. I don't just get in there because I want to get in there and I need this. Or I want to do this. I get in there because I know I can get in there. I know how great of shape I'm in. I know how much I can take. Yep. I know what punches I could take and I know what punches not to take. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not just getting in there just as a guy. Oh, I just want to keep boxing. Yeah, you, I get in there. I get in there because the I love this. Yeah. I use the experience. I mean, it showed in this last fight, yeah. you know? Oh, I, I was, man, you know, I was so happy to see you box, right? I, you know, you know I'm me. Sure Jab. <laughs> I know for sure, for sure. I know for sure that fight. I know millions times per, I know a million percent you appreciated that fight oh because I mean, every you were time even we throwing talk, quick little pop every <laughs> time we talk every time I see you you're always hey how's that jab coming along yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know it, it's it's but like like I said you know just bringing it back to 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 the experiences you know it, it's man it's been a ride it's incredible yeah.